Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob McDonald, welcome to my YouTube channel, and welcome back to another reaction video. Did I just say that twice? I reckon I did. Either way, uh, we're in the 50s, number 59, Max Crosby, with two X's, and uh, with the ability to summon a spirit bomb from Raider Stadium. Something I saw, something I really respected, and something I tried to share on my YouTube channel. But unfortunately, YouTube had, had other other ideas. Or, or was that Google? Or was that the NFL? I don't know. Either way. He's coming at number 59 on the list of the top 100 players in 2022. He's a big fella. He's got blonde hair. I mean, you know, he's, he's quite pale in complexion. But... Uh, that that, that 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 pales in comparison, no pun intended, to the way that he plays on the field. Let's get into it. Who's writing that? Max got a lot of moves. If you watch somebody with a lot of moves, you'll fall. Who's writing that? Who, who, who can we see? I can't see shit. Max got a lot of moves. If you watch somebody with a lot of moves, you'll fall. Max got a lot of moves. Must have been him writing. to get to the quarterback. March 11, 2020 was Max Crosby's first day of going sober. Two years later to the day, the Raiders gave him a $95 million extension. And here's oh, why. Shit. Oh, shit. I thought the only Raider that was going sober was Darren Waller. It seems Max Crosby joined the club. Let's have a look at his stats. Let's give him the time of day, because that... That's a great story regardless. August 22nd, 1997. He's 24 years of age. He's been sober for two years. Six foot five, 255 pounds. Went to Eastern Michigan. Uh, got picked up in the fourth round of the 2019 draft with pick number 106 to the Raiders. Made his first Pro Bowl last year. And, lo and behold, makes his first appearance on the list. At that size and that weight, running a 4.66 40-yard dash, that is... Uh, Jeez, I've got no words. 36 inches in the vertical, 10 foot 2 on the broad jump. He's clearly athletic. He's an athletic phenom, and he's in the sport that he should be. Um, what have we got here? 49 total games, 142 tackles, 25 sacks in his first three years in the league. 12 passes deflected, 4 forced fumbles, 1 recovered, and the list goes on and on. Well, it doesn't really. That was the end of it. Um, March 11th, 2022, the two-year anniversary of becoming sober. Crosby signed a four-year, $98.98 million contract extension with the Raiders. Let's have a look at his sobriety. March 11th, 2022. So we're talking March 11th, 2020. Got picked up in 2019. Played the season. So it must have been in the off-season between 2019 and 2020 that he decided to go sober. Now, what did he decide to go sober from? Okay, so we went to rehab in the off-season after his rookie year. It says he's 18 months sober after staying in rehab. All right, let's have a look at this. A week before the world shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic in the spring of 2020, Max Crosby's world opened up. That's when the Las Vegas Raiders defensive end began a month-long stay in rehab for alcoholism and is now nearing an 18-month milestone of being sober on the cusp of the 2021 NFL season. In a wide-ranging interview with ESPN on Friday, Crosby detailed his fight for sobriety as he enters his third NFL season. It got to a point after my rookie year, my life became unmanageable. Alcohol, partying, and all that shit became too much of a distraction in my life. It became just overwhelming. I've always had issues with drinking and partying throughout high school and college. He was only 22 at the time, guys. So for someone to realize and ask for help at that age, that's that's huge. I've been able to slip by and get by, but it became too much for me, and it's always been that one crutch. Alcoholism runs my family, and I'm an alcoholic. So for me, I knew it was something that was always a crutch. I knew, always knew I had a problem. I knew I couldn't just drink like everybody else. I got ahead of it. My first year of sobriety is always the hardest. 
and that was last year. I had a lot of ups and downs. Mentally, it was really tough for me, but going in, I'm almost a year and a half sober now, and life is great. I'm really enjoying every single day. I'm enjoying the work. And that was prior to last season. 18 months sober, goes in and makes his first Pro Bowl. Coincidence? I think not. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Can't block me. Can't block me. Oh, we can't block that. Might have a heart attack at 50, but f it. We're getting the win. What a lot of people don't know, like, they just see Max do that on Sunday. Like, Max is like that in every single... Well, take the alcohol out and you might not. Practice every single walkthrough, every single rep. Max don't know this, but he probably gonna hear whatever he watched. His energy, every single play, you know, it, it just, it drives me. That is a sober energy, my friend. I mean, I'm not feeling I can just look at Max like, all right, well, if he can do it every single play, well, like, why can't I? And, you know, not just it affects me, I'm pretty sure it affects the other 10 guys on the field also. Best in the game, America. Max Crosby is probably my favorite player in the league right now. That tackle is hands in the ground, I'm going to say run. It's a run every time. It's a pass. I keep telling him, he's like, how'd you do? And I'm like, bro, I watch film. I don't think I've ever seen somebody play. There he is. I knew we'd hear from this guy. Football with the level of effort that Max Crosby does. And we're talking games, we're talking practice, we're talking walkthrough. Just Holy on. shit, he's been in the league three years. He's made his first appearance on the top one. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be here for, you know, a fair few more years. I'm liking what I hear here. All time. Incredible player. It was fourth and one on the goal line. And Maxis jumped over the goal line and brought the quarterback down like he was a middle. Oh! Look at him just jump. Oh, over. what a play! There's two to three games where I was like, dang, Max, like he didn't block you one time. Max Crosby, the right defensive end. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, um, I call that a, an absolute demolishing. A star can wreck the game. And a roly poly. It's adversity. Come on. Same the same Raiders. This is us, bro. We're different. In the final week, Crosby was all over the field as the Raiders beat the Chargers to make the playoffs for the first time in five years. He's come a long way from his days in rehab, going to the Pro Bowl this year, and you could just see the emotion on his face when that happened. You know, I want to continue going in the right trajectory. Me personally, I, I try to reach out to every top guy that I look up to. I just love putting myself around people who are great. That's what I want to be. Um, that's what I push myself to be every day. Tell you what, with that kind of um, leg dexterity, you could you could well be a punter. Not going to lie. Um, yeah, what an absolute legend. Uh, he's doing all the right things, and uh, best of luck to him in this upcoming season. In the next video, I haven't even looked at it. Darren Waller. Well, tell you what, they've, they've done us here. They've got two guys who are on the same trajectory, in the same team, you know, singing that same song, that sobriety song. And uh, it's not something I've been able to do yet, but it's something I'm looking at doing in the future. So uh, all of that and more will be revealed. We, we will look into Darren Waller's story just a little bit more. But uh, that was sick. That was a really cool video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys can take something positive from that. That's all I do this for. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.